<laughs> that is good banter. Oh, Tim. Holy dooly guacamole. It is the uh, good banter pod. And woo, it's uh, back it's for another week, mate. Back for another week. Not our usual Monday night recording time. It's Tuesday. Tuesday. It's- it's before lunch, and it got a bit of bloody... How are you feeling? Yeah, it's, good. It's, uh, during the day, I like it. You know, I haven't been on the tools. You haven't been slaving away, you know, picking up safes or no, creeping no. around the uh, factory floor. Yeah, jerking off behind a stack of pallets. Now, yep. a bit of a different lead in today. So, I got up... Um, Got, yeah, so you lay in bed, had an early night last night, real early, because I had a big weekend, and um, just opened the eyes at, at about quarter to six. Okay, and I was, is it, um, we getting, I, I notice obviously it, it's getting to that stage now where the sun's setting a bit um, bit early. I was down the beach last night, and uh, the, yeah, the sun was still, sort of starting to go down. Yeah, you're not far past 8.30 these days. No, nah, the, the days, going down. Uh, days are shorter. Got that feeling. Yeah. What's the... Uh, so is I opened it, is up, me, open up my eyes. the windows? No, no, black as a, black as a bloody... As ace a, of spades. As the ace of spades. Yeah, that's a good one. So I opened my eyes, quarter to six, and instead of thinking, well, I could just lay here for another half hour or let's kick this fucking day off. So I chucked on some runners yeah. and some bloody singlets, some shorts, and bloody started pounding the pavement. Really? Went for a run at, yeah, about 10 to 6, went for a run. And That's I thought, because I gave myself a list of, uh, big on lists these yeah. days. So I wrote a list of stuff i got to do today. One of them was uh, go do the banking. Let's kill two fucking. Say that, say that while you're holding your tongue. Let's kill, uh, what was that? What did I say? Say go do the banking while you're holding your tongue. Go do, do the banking. No, hold your tongue and say it. Go do the banking. Yeah, it's it's but, that thing when you're a kid. We say, oh, say I'm a I'm a banker. I bank all uh, day, and, and banker becomes like wanker. wanker. Ah, yeah. oh, it's classic it's, stuff, uh, mate. Classic, yeah, it's classic yeah, comedy's, primary school. Comedy's school. Uh, comedy's evolved a little since then, fortunately. Yeah, well, that's my opening two minutes of the show. Ah, so, right. yeah. so if you're running late, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> First two is a bit of a slog. He's ever holding his tongue, saying bank. So, um, yeah. So, and then I thought. One of the other jobs, do the fucking wanking down the street. So bloody, yep. so I got my bloody the wanker Queensland card. Now nah, the wanker, wanker Victor- Melbourne, wanker Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> always have a local. Keep it, keep my wanks local. Yeah, and then um, yeah, Commonwealth so wank. Took the uh, no, no one's having a Commonwealth wank these days. The fucking uh, the, <laughs> the Royals, the Royals are all over the shop. Oh no, god, no is she alive, them. Kate Middleton? What nah. was what was the big thing about that photo? Like who who is wasting? If you haven't seen it, they've. They've gone through a photo of Kate Middleton and the kids and they're picking out all the Photoshop errors. Yeah, well. Lucky they don't go through any of my fucking posters. No, no. She's, uh, you know, there's a few mistakes on there. I think she was, um, one of them had a claw as a hand and uh, one of the kids was fucking Chris Rock. So, um, <laughs> yeah, not ideal. But, um, yeah, so, but anyway, so um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, oh, what's happened get to up. her? Nah, she's um. Oh, no, I think she's dead. I think that uh. Yeah. Who's the who's the creepy uncle that's been on Epstein's oh, Prince, Island? Prince William. Prince Andrew. Yeah, I think old Andrew might have bloody uh, touched her up. Touched her up, nah, and bit, um, she's a bit old for him. And she was going to talk about it. So he was sweating. The Queen's had her knocked off, which is uh, which is yeah, amazing. It's hard to do from the grave. Yeah, no, nah, the Queen can do anything. Maybe she's alive. Yeah. Yeah. Living in a box. Yeah, no, nah, the Royals are all over the shop at the I moment. I don't give a fuck about the Royals. Do you care? Oh, I think the saddest human beings on the planet are the people over over there in the UK that are obsessed with the royal with family. The royals. Even in Australia, like, come on, get over it, guys. Yeah, I know. I'm 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 bald. I'm, I admit that, and I'm I'm going down gracefully. But tell you what, fucking Prince William, he has he is one. He's hanging on, isn't he? Oh, it's it's one of the most. Defined receding hairlines. It's a fucking shocker. I reckon Kate. That's why she's she's not around. She's, she's off, off rooting someone with a decent fucking hairdo. She's um. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's a weird looking dude, Prince yeah, William, isn't he? He's sort of like attractive. Yeah, yeah. Classic um, private school nerd. Who uh, you, you might get hair plugs or something like that. Oh, he got all the money in the world. Just 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 add a fucking. Prince William fucking hair plug tax to the UK, people yeah. in the UK, and God, I'd, I'd chip in a bit so I don't have to look at that fucking offensive Weird hairline. Head. It's uh, it's not great. And Harry, 
Jesus, he's um, he's going thin, but he's he's really sort of combing it over and growing it long. Just bloody own it, guys. Well, red hair and going bald. It's uh, well, one of my great mates, uh, Bullser. He uh, yeah, he 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 got the dreaded bald uh, and the ginger. Yeah, oh, he's he just a... shaved it now. He's uh, oh, yeah. he held on to it, and he's he's a listener. Good on you, Chenzo. Yeah, good yeah on held Chenzo. on for a bit, but then he goes, nah. I'm fighting the losing battle here, so he's he's bald as a badger. Yeah, I think nowadays, um, you, the the plugs do work if you get early enough. Uh, the the plugs do work. So, um, but it's it's uh, it's painful, it's expensive, and God, is it worth how much shit? Like if I just rocked up to a gig one day with a full <laughs> with head of hair, hair or fucking that fucking uh, that early funny. baby doll's hair, that'd be fun. Um, Oh God, is it worth it? How much shit would you cost? Oh God, that'd be funny. That'd be. And you've um, you've sort of had a bit. You had the mo going at the moment. You've sort of gone full beard at the moment. Oh so, mate, I'm all over the what's, shop. What's going on? What are we talking? Uh, well, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm getting uh, shaving is a pain in the ass. Oh, mate. it's a massive pain in the ass. So, oh yeah. I you know I just put it off and then I'll leave a bit of a mo and it's just uh, tell you what my wife bought me for my birthday. Fuck me, you know you're getting. I tell you what, talk. Yeah, the, they talk about the worst present, socks and jocks, mate. They this they pile into insignificance when you think about compare it to what my wife got me for a birthday. Yeah. And she's a listener, so take this on board, babe. It is what can only be described as a fucking cone head that you normally put on a dog. So it's this. Is this to stop you licking your balls? Yeah, it can um stop me from yeah just sitting in. I haven't got friends over, just sitting in the corner licking my balls. She goes, she said, enough. Um, so, uh, and uh, yeah, so what it is, it's like this big fucking material cone. It's like, a, you know, when you get a tent yep. and, and, and yeah, those fold up tents yes. and then they spring out. Yeah. It sort of looks not unlike a small one of those, but it's got a hole in it and you stick your oh, fucking head to it. this for you when you shave? For your shave. So oh all the hair God. drops down and catches. Oh, okay. We get we're getting to a point here where uh, it's fucking embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm sitting that. there looking at myself the day of my forty sixth birthday, trying this thing on, shaving with with this fucking ginormous like it goes a meter each side. Is it like one of those in. babies? You know where the babies have got those bibs that have sort of if they drop food, it drops into the bib. Yeah, kind except of, it's like that. Except it's for your except hair. Except that's at the front. This is this is three sixty degrees of fucking embarrassment. It's it's the most fucking ridiculous thing I've ever seen. And then and then you're stuck. All the hair comes down and sort of gets caught at the bottom. So you go to take the fucking thing off and it all just falls out anyway. Yeah. Unless you've got I a know. vacuum cleaner in there and sort of sucked it up. But well, What do I do? I sort of get the clippers and I do it outside. I'm just looking to, and it all sort of blows outside. And then I come inside and clean it up because the missus, she was going, oh, yeah. It is hard to clean up the little um, hairs in the sink. And they, but forget, they go down the sink, they do block the sink. They can block the sink up. But uh, in the meantime, like you, you go into the bathroom and our house or the bathroom, it looks it looks like a fucking hairdresser's floor. Like my missus, she's molting and oh. Oh. she's, uh, but she whinges about a few little hairs oh. in the sink. Like, um, need to put on a, an apprentice just to go around and start sweeping the shit up. Do have to. Do mm. have to, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, no, they do whinge about hair, uh, the ladies, but. Tell you what, the old fucking drain on the shower it looks like a oh. there's a fucking dead dog bloody <laughs> caught in it, mate. Because that's the thing, the water stops going down the shower. You go, what the fuck's going on here? You pull it out. It's like someone's jammed a fucking jam Chewbacca down there. It's fucking. I go, ridiculous. that's not my hair, babe. That it's is like, all your. I'm surprised my my wife doesn't look like uh, you know um, Sigourney Weaver oh. or uh, Sinead O'Connor. That's amazing. For the amount of hair they lose, they've still got a lot there. It's quite amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it looks like someone's been fucking ferreting, like the, <laughs> down the drain. Yeah, you, you pull it out and it just keeps coming. It's fucking sick. Oh, it's disgusting. It's but, over uh, at my cousin's in staying with my cousin's in Perth, and he had this little thing, just a little, that just a little sticker you put over the drain, mm. and just once a week you just pull it off. They're cheap, and and all the hair comes with it, and uh, happy that. days. That's not a that's bad thing you can do when you don't have kids. I reckon, like yeah, yeah your kids. How long would a sticker over the over the drain last in your house. Well, There'd be ki- you, kids you're... shitting in the shower is probably a bigger issue for us. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you're going to need a big sticker to stop that. To stop a big fucking seven-year-old's Boris. Are they from, still, uh... still doing it in the shower, are they? Um, I, oh, 
I think I told it. Was it told me the same time? No, we haven't told this story. No, were you going to save for the um, live pod or something like no, that? No, 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 no. This is a different one. I've got, oh, a, right. got a couple of stories for oh, the Oh, I can't wait. Though. I'm glad I'm spending so much money on trying to have a kid. Yeah. Oh, can't no, wait for it. Yeah, no, it's just because uh, little Harry, he still every now and again will jump in the shower with me and he just squats down and you know, fucks around and um, while I while I share. And um, and I said, mate, have you, uh, God, have you done a fart? And he looked up and he goes, no. He goes, oh. Oh, poo. And I was like, ah, oh, mate. And it was just a big, didn't even know, just dropped a little uh, little fucking turd. So I had to mash that down the drain, which was always a uh, good way to start the day with another yeah. human shit between your yeah, toes. That'll all get stuck to the hair. You'll have yeah. an awesome aroma coming from the oh, uh, Bloody beautiful. Geez, we get off topic quickly on this pod, don't we? Yeah, and I think what I, what I started off saying, went for a run this morning, took my bank cards with me and... Uh, a uh, bit of cash and uh, put it in the bank. So, um, so I did my banking. So I'd done my Great. banking, been for my run, all by bloody. Don't set- bank open. Oh no, you can you can do it all. Oh, through the. Yeah. Through oh, the- mate, ba- banks are fucked. Banks are uh, banks are on the way out. Oh, banks. Banks. Are- uh, if you walk into a bank now, the average age is about one hundred and twenty. Yeah, I saw a, a bit of a youngster. Yeah, banking, you're not really getting into it. And if you walk into a bank now, they're like, "Fuck, is he here to rob the joint? Yeah, what's going on?" He was yeah. wearing a balaclava and carrying a shotgun. Yeah. But um, not ideal attire for going down to Westpac. Not great. But, um, yeah, so they're really trying to – like even putting bank in, but putting money in, Yeah. Um, that used to be you'd have to go in. But now it's so easy outside. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah, so oh, it's this, all done outside. I had my card chewed the other day. I um, I – the Bank of Queensland card it was starting to get a little. It was on the it was on the fritz, mate. It on was the, on the blink. Yeah, it, it, it stopped scanning. Well, it'd scan on some stuff, and then other stuff it wouldn't scan, and then I'd have to put it in. And I went and put it into the. I've got a little um, ATM I go to at Benton yep. Square, and it's uh, it's not a Bank of Queensland. It's fucking hard to find a Bank of Queensland ATM. Yeah, like it's, you, uh, well, you're in the wrong state. I I would recommend. Changing to another bank? Nah, nah, it's all good because I've worked it out. There's a few I can go to where you, they're, they're like sister companies where you don't oh, get yeah. charged a fee. Oh, nice. So I've got, I've got a nice Westpac one there at Benton Square. But if I'm, you want to chat to a bank manager, can you go into Westpac? No, no they go, get the fuck out of yeah, here. You go to Queensland. You redneck fuck. Um, yeah, so I, I, I found, I think Man Eliza, I've got one. There used to be one in Mornington, but they've uh, shut the doors. Gone no, out of banks business. are shutting like bloody. Um, uh, well, banks. Banks, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's no way. Uh, that's right. Like news like, agencies. Like breweries. Fuck, news agencies. A few breweries going down the shitter. Which surprises me. Well, I think, the you know. Fads, the fad sort of got over. Well, I think it gets to a point, and I don't know whether I've mentioned this, where if, if you want to have it, even you, you go to a bottle shop. I know people you still got to go into breweries, which is fair enough. Yep. But if you go to a bottle shop. And you've got four cans of a uh, pale ale from a brewery for twenty bucks, or you can buy twenty-four cans a slab for fifty. You know what are you what are you going yeah, for? Yeah, yeah. I, I think what the one positive about I know there are positives. You know they're locally owned and all that yeah. sort of stuff. But the one, the real positive, and I don't know whether this is still relevant for um, for breweries, is that their markup because they're making it, is able to just be off the fucking charts. Because yes. they're basically selling water and time. You know what I mean? Like, there's a few other, other no, I mean, things. Yeah, but, but, yeah. Um, I don't but, know if you've had a beer lately, but yeah, there's a bit more than water in it. There's a bit of malt. There's yeah, barley. yeah, but, but it's, it's, yeah. Not, it's stuff that, like, if you're selling a pint for, you know, 15 bucks or whatever, and your, your markup on that is off the charts, whereas at a pub... Because they've got to get the kegs in. Well, they've got to buy them. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So um, yes. so you're eliminating the middleman. It's true. Big markup. It's like people that sell shit online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, There's no... Uh, yeah, you don't have to hire a shop front. Speaking of breweries, and it was going to be my first... Uh, get into it. Oh, f- before we get into this, uh, so I don't forget, jump on the Patreon. We haven't had a new Patreon member for over a month now. Oh, fuck. Mate, this is... I thought this we're we're on fire here. I thought we're going well. And it's just it's just sort of holding steady. But oh. if you thought... It, I mean, mate, pints are 16 bucks. As I said, $8.50 for a whole month. Yep. And you can get all the bonus content. Just try it. I know you're going to love it. All you tight asses out there, support us. We're you, down here on a Tuesday. We're, you're we're, not just, we're putting you're not this just out get, for free. You're not just going to get a bit of new shit every now and then. No. You get the backlog. You get and the there backlog. there is some magical stuff. Yeah. Um, 
Little, oh, little Tommy Toms I talk when I'm on the road. Evan yeah. talks about his gigs. Matt and- O'Neill, who, uh, yeah, was uh, f- um, Photoshop and jizz off yep. um, uh, covers, you know, Kate Mid- jizz off Kate Middleton's face. He was yep. doing it all. Uh, the deleted scene, the P- Papua New Guinea oh, thing. It'd so- be, if you haven't seen the Papua New Guinea. Uh, Jump on. Heard that episode. Um, yeah, people still stop me in the street and say, so- fuck me, it's, uh, where can I hear it? I yeah. Said, Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, tight fuck. Get on it. And the other thing is, I forgot to mention it last week. Uh, I, I, I've already mentioned Bulls are, um, me good mate, Ben Tito. Uh, his cousin, Sean Bell, is doing ding, something. Ding, ding, ding. Dinger, dinger. Ring a ling ling. Ring a ding ding. In relation to Peter? Uh, no, don't think so. Don't think so. But he's doing something absolutely amazing. He is. Joining the Patreon? I fucking hope so. But mm. he may be not at the moment. He's a bit busy. He's a bit busy running around Australia ah. to raise money for Make a Wish. Now, uh, amazing effort. He's done some huge things in his time. He's, he's run 50 marathons in 50 days. He's, it started years ago when I think he lost a mate and th- f- through some illness. And now what he do, he thought, fuck it, I'm going to start ultra running. I'm going to just run marathons. I'm going to, he ran maybe around this time last year from Cairns to Melbourne or Melbourne to Cairns. Um, I know what his wish should be. Get a fucking car. He's, um, maybe, yeah. Geez, he's, uh, geez, that's a long one. You wear out a lot of shoes as well. Oh, but yeah. He's yep. sponsored and all that. So, Go. I'll post the link on the Instagram yep. and maybe down on the description. But go to Sean Bell Runs. Uh, he's running. It's going to take him three months. SBR. And he's running around Australia. He posts little um, clips every every day. Uh, so get around Sean Bell. Um, amazing effort to raise money for Make a Wish, and it's good to sort of follow his journey. You know, I mean, you bitch and moan about you know hair in the sink and yep. you know shit down the drain, but when you're running around, he's running like 80 k's a day for three months. Well, I ran a marathon, and towards the end of that, and I, I know I wasn't marathon um, ready, but the, it's think like my nipples were fucking uh, just they're bleeding. I had blood coming down my leg. You're getting blisters, and but doing that every day, there's no no recovery time. No, and he says, uh, yeah, you'll see his videos. He goes, oh, I'm doing the Shawnee Shuffle at the moment, where he's just ticking them along. Well, you'd sort of never, like he's doing the Shawnee Shuffle. When you haven't got a break, you're never really going to come good. Like he's going to be doing the Shawnee Shuffle for the next fucking. That's it. Th- two months. Every day he's shuffling. Yeah, he's, so, uh, every day he's shuffling. Yeah, um, but uh, I'll post a link. Uh, Sean Bell runs. Get on it. It's, and even if you don't great. chuck in money now, bloody follow him on Instagram and stuff. Yeah, I mean, and he's then, still got two and a half months. Yeah, and he's after only a been month, you might go, days. you know what? I'm going to give this fucking. Shuffler a bit of coin because he's yeah. battling. And the thing is, if you're around Australia, I'm sure at some point he's gonna he's gonna pass through a town you're near or something. Yep. Just uh, say good day or fucking throw some eggs at him or whatever you want to do. No, don't do that. Yeah, don't no, take um, eggs at him. Nah. So Shawnee Bell doing an amazing effort, mate. So uh, amazing thing. Uh, great stuff. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and I was, before we go to the uh, the bad bad shepherd, the um yeah. uh, about putting things into perspective, and I won't go into it too much. Bloody we. Uh, Coach the boys in the basketball mm. final, semi-final, and uh, those that have followed this podcast will know that we went a couple of years without a victory in the lowest possible division, Division 12, through some amazing coaching and probably more just uh, improvement. Performance-enhancing drugs. Performance-enhancing drugs, uh, giving them a um, slurpy before every game. Yeah, all the kids are six there. foot six now because yep. they're, they're getting on the growth hormones. If you... Um, yeah, a few uh, slightly docked uh, birth certificates and so forth. And, uh, yeah, they uh, – anyway, so we made the semi-final. That was a pretty uh, pretty full-on game, pretty emotional game. And the, the, the other – they had a couple of coaches for the other team that didn't quite agree with their uh, approach on coaching. Strategy. And, um, strategy. They have sort of made a couple of our kids upset. It was an emotional day. Uh, anyway, we went down. First final all the kids have ever played in. We're outside, everyone's pretty bummed out. Uh, even I was, you know, you're trying to get the message across, you know, there's no... You're not good enough. No, there's no right. there's no losses, only like, lessons. Yeah. Uh, you know, Ooh, pulling nice, out mate. every, you know, you bloody, you'll be better, you know, that you'll be better for it. That's your first you gotta final. you got to win before, you, you got to yeah. lose before you can win. You know, you, you can hang your head high and... Uh, and then what you can they, hang your head high. Hang your head up high? Is that what you say? 
Hold, hold your, head. your head up. Hold high. your head up high. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit hard to hang your head up high when yeah, you're is. looking at the floor. Is your upside down? No, it depends how no. high um, up you are. Anyway, so I said, you know, everyone's proud of you, great improvement, rah, 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 and everyone's bummed out. And you talk about putting things into perspective, and I think everyone was a bit down. And little bloody Harry, who's obviously, uh, you know, he's, he's had a... He's, a, he's had a shit in the bloody he, he's, shower. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's obviously had a tough run. He's 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 had three open heart surgeries. He's had a, he's had a... Last year was a pretty tough year for him, and he was... He gets really into shit. So he, he, the morning of the game, he, we made this bloody Go Saints... Great poster that we laminated and stuck it on a ruler, and uh, so everyone's bummed out. And he's sort of, and he's all of a sudden he's ran in and go, "Can I get a photo? Can I get a photo?" Oh, Can I? And, uh, so everyone, little... everyone's like, "Yeah, all right, read the room, Harry. We're sort of a bit bummed out here, but um, but anyway, he got everyone a photo and he got everyone smiling. And you know, and you're like, you know what? Jeez, if you if uh, losing a game of basketball is the worst thing that's happening, it's little Harry put a smile on everyone's face, and it's just. Good little things like that to put things into well, perspective. Good. You know, it he's was not nice. A Daniel skier. I mean, he could have jumped off and said, "You blokes are losers." No, he, he did oh. get his photo with the winning team. Oh, okay. As well. yeah. No, he didn't. No, yeah, stuff them. Well, good oh, on him. Right. Well, yeah, so that was a nice moment. And uh, yep, no losses, only lessons. That's it. And how old are they? Uh, ten. Yeah, so they got heaps more lessons to come. Yeah, plenty more. It gets lessons. harder, boys. Oh yeah. Uh, so I, don't worry about this. I, You're going to be disappointed a lot in your life if if there's no if losses, only is, lessons. I'm Possibly the most educated human being on the planet. That's right. Because I did not win fuck all. Yeah, this is the Phil Jackson of life yeah. lessons. I'm Einstein over here. Oh, Albert yeah. Einstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, run us to... Uh, run so, us so, through. so, we're just... And this is involves you as well. It does so involve can, me. Uh, and when you tell me, whoo, Jesus. So, at the... Uh, you got a gig for me at the Bad Shepherd Brewery. Bad Shepherd Brewery in great, Cheltenham. Get great, down. Great, great brewery. brewery. Plenty of great beers, yeah, great uh, good stuff. vibe, great food. The joint joint was rocking. So, um, so I I had to take the boys to footy training. Uh, Nara and Flynn had footy training that night, and I had to set up the sound equipment. So I was like, "Fuck, I'm going to be struggling um, to get from footy training, get there." I don't like setting the sound equipment up while everyone's oh, no. everyone's there it carrying just shit through. Takes a bit of sheen off. Who yeah, you are. yeah. But um, so I thought I'll I'll go down there during the day, set it up. So. Straight after school, pick the boys up, straight down. So I've got uh, Flynn and Noah. We're setting the uh, setting the sound equipment up. And this is the stuff that, you know, a lot of comedians are past this. They're like, I'm too big. I'm just going to rock up. But you and me, we're down in the trenches. I mean, you've been doing comedy for over 20 years. I've been doing it for about 11. And, and I'm still setting up. I get there. I'm setting up the sound. I'm setting up the lighting. I'm moving chairs. I'm moving tables. Yep. And you're doing the same. But I, I it can wear a bit thin. I, I can, but I honestly don't reckon. Like I drove fucking. Jeez, I did some fucking driving on the oh, weekend. Oh mate, I've got um, I've got a weekend like that coming up. It's uh, I had three gigs, so it would have been I've been pushing eight eight. Doing seven hundred for it. I've been pushing eighteen hundred k's. Yeah, you're looking. Sean Bell's looking at you, and he's going. Tommy C gets an inspiration. Yeah, I, I drove past Shawnee about fifteen times. Um, <laughs> Shawnee! Shawnee, he goes, "What are you fucking doing, mate?" I said, "Oh, I just you're got still a gig. shuffling, Shawnee. Just got a gig in Cairns. Yeah, um, no worries. Oh, I'll yeah. see you in five hours when I'm on the way home. <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually gave him a lift for a couple of hundred k's. Yeah, so come on, chat mate. To. Let's get a few. Let's get a few um, k's under the belt. So, uh, but you know, if you drive all that way, you set up the gig, and you, you've dealt, and you've for, for probably two, three months, you you book the gig in three months early. You've been dealing with the. I like the, the person, dealing with people. You, see, you build uh, a bit of a rapport yeah, how's, beforehand. You know, how's ticket sales going? You know, blah blah blah. Yeah, we're we'll struggling. Some, Can yep. you take a bit of cash off? No worries, no, I'll do fuck that. You. Um, so, uh, and then when it's all gone well, you got your equipment in the car. You're about to head head off. You Flat farewell tire. the person. You drive off, and I don't reckon. And you got that good feeling. I, I created something from nothing. Yes. Are you getting that feeling if someone just rings up, mate, got a gig on Saturday, and you just turn up, do your 20, don't talk to Grab anyone, your cash. And, and walk out. No, you're you not, don't. You're not getting the same feeling. There is a rewarding feeling, and I think that comes from maybe football. Yep. Um, you know, a lot of comedians, they, they've never played a team sport. They're all about themselves. They're narcissists, which I had no idea what it, what it meant until I started doing comedy and Comedians are saying I'm a narcissist. I had to Google it. I go, yeah, okay, you are. Do they? No, a few, but a few do. So you're a narcissist. No, say that they are. A oh, narcissist. okay. Yeah, 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 I'm not a narcissist. What's a narcissist? Well, I think. Well, I'll Google it again. It's um, it's something about 
Uh, I don't know what a yeah, narcissist team is. Team sport, and I think in particular football and cricket, has a team first uh, attitude, yes. culture that... You get weaned out. Yeah, yeah, or or, or or you get they pull your head in, and, yeah, and, and you can stay, but they 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 pull your head in. Right here we go. Narcissist, narcissist personality disorder is a mental health condition in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. Mental health? No, no, it's not mental health. You're just a fucking You're just wanker. a fuckwit. There's a difference between mental health and yeah. They try to pin everything on mental health now. Don't There's. They? You're, that's a wanker. Yeah. That's a, that's a flog. That's an A grade flog. Flog, yeah, um, A grade flog. So, uh, so anyway, yep. I've lost track. But um, we're uh, so how many gigs have you had at Bad Shepherd before? This uh, is a regular gig you organise. Yep, yep. Probably had. I reckon the first one we ever did was I reckon two weeks before COVID kicked in. But then since then, I reckon we've had about seven or eight. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. So okay. Pete Halley has done it twice. Yep. Uh, we've had a few. Dave O'Neill's done it twice. We've had always uh, good crowds. Plenty, great crowds. So this was with great, Dilruk. great following. So this was going to be with Dilrook. It was going to be a full house. They had another fifty booked outside that were watching the footy. Carlton Richmond. So it was Thursday night on the big oh. on, the, on the screen outside. Um, so I've um so I've gone out of uh the. I've set up, set everything up. I said up. to you, I said, mate, it's an easy setup. You, you bring everything in, you set the speakers up, you set the lights up. Park right out the front. Park right out the front. You make you laughing. It'll take yeah. you half an hour. Yeah, so I've brought everything in. It's I've hot, done it eight it's, times. It's a hot day. It's a fucking hot day. She's so, stinking. So I'm coming in and it uh, turns out they didn't have the stage set up. So you sort of <sighs> need to know where the stage is. So I said, mate, I'll, I'll help you with the stage. So I've, he looked a bit stressed, the, the guy. So I dragged, I did set up the stage and set up the sound, set up the lights, did the sound check. My kids are sitting there watching. Oh, they're in heaven, they had yeah. ESPN on the yeah. TV. They're, they're sitting there they've eating had a few XPAs. chicken wings. <laughs> they're and fucking they had that, laid out. They had that sample fucking paddle thing. So yep. uh, they had their first beer and second, third, fourth, fifth. and fifth beer. After 15th. So they're yep. Polax. They're fighting with security at the front. And um, anyway, uh, all set up, ready to go. All right, mate, see you soon. And he goes, mate, you, I don't know why you didn't just uh, – this is the manager of the joint, Irish bloke. Mate, don't know why you didn't just uh, plug your mic in the wall there. We've got a built-in sound system. And I was like, uh, what was that? And he goes, yeah, just plug a mic in the wall there and we'll uh, – yeah, no need for it, bring all, all, all your sound shit. So I jump on the phone to you and I say, yeah. mate, did I – Have I missed something? Have I missed something? Did, I, did you tell me – to uh, just plug my mic in the wall. and Because uh, I remember you saying it was going to be an easy setup. But yep. I don't remember the old mic in the wall fucking spiel. No. Well, the reason, uh, and you weren't going crazy. You were, uh, you're like, have my Dexys kicked in? Am, am I losing my mind? I said, no, you're not losing your mind, Tommy. Because I've been running that gig for four or five years. I've uh, run it seven or eight times. I've set up. Johnny Katz has set up. Um, easy set up, half an hour. Not once has anyone... At that venue, said we've got an inbuilt sound system. Just plug your mic into the wall, and I thought, what? Are, what do these people like? No one has said that. And well, my first, my th- first thought was, well, obviously it doesn't fucking work well. Obviously, Evans, he's, he's obviously he's told tried to Evan. Evans tried it. The sound's not great. So, I, so I've just grabbed the mic and, and pulled it out of my speaker, plugged it in. It's perfect. It's a perfect sound system. So, But also, what are they thinking when you're lugging speakers in, you're setting up sound, you're doing a sound check, do they not think about maybe like saying that before they, you bring all the shit in? It doesn't make sense. But not even fucking 24 hours later. I'm doing a gig at the Pow Town Footy Club, football Pow. netball club. How now, Pow Town? How now, Pow Town? And um, so the club's on the bloody ropes at the moment. But the, mate, on... they were big, like uh, mate Jugger and uh, heaps of guys I played with at Wandon. They were up there. I don't know whether they've just um, uh, maybe maybe the cash is gone after those bikes have left. Well, um, they won a flag, not not that yeah, long ago. I know. Well, the town's only got two hundred people. They said they got money in the bank. They've got awesome new facilities. It's a mill. It's a mill town. It's a it's a logging town. It's, it's a, a, a milf town. Oh um, yeah, there's a shitload of single milfs. mums. Any ugly mums, you're out of here. Yep. See you later. Um, Go to Seville. If you're a mum, you wouldn't root. Oh, I'm sorry. You're uh, you got to move. Yeah, you got to drive the logging truck. So uh, he's a. Uh, and again, we'll. We'll get to where we're going. We're going off track many times. Love it. They said their problem was two coaches in a row, when they left, 
took like 10 players. That'd be, jug- you, uh... that'd be Jugger. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, his name's probably Mud down there, I'd say. He's, <laughs> uh... <laughs> mud. Great fella, Jugger. Yeah, just, uh... but he's take... Well, I think he took a lot of blokes up there on their last legs, like one last hurrah oh, kind okay. of thing. You know, two sides to every Benny story. Benny Ratton, your Gaz Shepard and uh, Gary Conyers and a few few boys who have gone up to Powtown and, uh, uh, yeah, they've sort of maybe... Yes. Yeah, he's the sort that. of guy that when he stays at a hotel... He takes all the soaps when he leaves. He and all, takes the toaster. He takes, he the, takes the television, board. the bed. Um, yeah. yeah, pretty much fucking empties the joint when he leaves. Yeah. And no, he did he's that. A great, great, oh, great yeah, guy. Great fella, yeah, Jugger. Of the earth, but played under Jugger. Yeah, um, yeah, nice. Now, anyway, it might not be Jugger. It might be a yeah, different. It might not be. The chances are, it's, he it's, did win a premiership up there in the last few years. He's ticking all the boxes so far. <laughs> um, so, uh, and there was another guy up there that also uh, took some took some players. So they're just basically brother. That's Jugger's brother. That was the guy that Jugger insisted they hire. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, needless to say, Jugger's picture had been blacked out out of the uh, off the premiership photo. No, it wasn't. No. Didn't see it because it was at the. Um, who's that? Oh, Joffa. Oh, big Joff. Um, so, uh, so it was actually at the RSL because right. they've got this new um, pavilion, but there's nothing in it. So this function was to raise money to buy some shit to buy for some the shit pavilion to, to, for the pavilion, which might be. I think it's to raise money to. Get a hitman to go down and see Jugger. Jugger yeah. Get all the fucking trophies and shit. Grab him by the jugular. The premiership man. cups he's uh. stolen and fucking put him back up there. Yeah, how do you feel? Like, look, Jugger aside, I don't know he's a mate. Let's, um, <laughs> fucking round, Jugs. Uh, how do you feel about players leaving, a coach leaving and taking players? Well, I think if you're, I think the great thing about uh, being a coach is if you've been around the place, you've got those contacts. So. If you've got them to the club, they wouldn't be there without you. Yeah. Um, oh, but, but if it's if you didn't take them there. Oh, if you didn't take them there, that's probably, yeah, that's maybe not great. But I guess it's a bit of a worry, I guess. But yeah. that's the problem when you've got to be careful who you you know, football clubs are complex places and it, it, all, it all sounds good at the time. Uh, you know, but loyalty probably has gone out of football a bit. And uh, am I saying the right or the wrong things here? I don't no, know what no, I'm trying no, to no, say. No, I guess what you so, so if you if a guy if you're say a club random club and a guy is saying a coach is saying I want the job I'm going to bring five gun footballers from the club I've just been at and you're like fuck how good's that how yeah. good's that but the negative of that is that's the sort of guy that is yes. that, that's that's him so don't be fucking surprised. When he leaves and takes five or six players with him. That's right. That's the old bloody snake story I told you. Oh, Remember the tell one? it again. The little snake, the, the, the guy walking through the street uh, or through the through the bloody park and he sees a snake and the snake's caught under the bloody Ooh, stump. I've yeah. told this before, haven't I? No. And the, uh, Maybe. and the snake's going, buddy, help me, help me, I'm stuck. And the guys go, oh, mate, you're a bloody snake. You're, 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 you're going to bite me. I'm not going to. And he goes, I'm not going to bite you, mate. You're helping me out here. Yeah. And he goes, oh, mate, you're a snake. And he goes, nah, come on. And eventually he goes, all right. Picks the log up and the snake bites him, poisonous, yeah. and he's going to die. And he goes, what'd you do that for? And he said, mate, I'm a fucking snake. Yeah. You knew what I was. Yeah, that's so don't right. be surprised. And you're a talking snake as well. Which is a miracle in itself. That's crazy. So um, don't be surprised when people do stuff. Yeah, it's all right ex- if it works one way. But like, it's like, I reckon it's like if, um, you know, you hook up. So you're with someone, you hook up with someone while you're still... Like, so you uh, cheat and hook example. up with someone. Good example. You hook up with someone. You both cheat. You hook up together. And then down the track, they might hook up with – and go, oh, well, well, fuck, what are you doing cheating on me? Well, fuck, I cheated on yeah. my last husband. What do you think that was a one-off? To be with you. Yeah, I'm a fucking snake. I can't believe you put your stump in me. Stuck under a log. Yeah. <laughs> or bit you and yeah. you're poisoned. And, and you're root or and, something. Yeah. And I fucked your best mate. So, yeah, so is that the moral of a story? Got a little bit off track at the end, but I think the uh, the general <laughs> message was right on the money. So Don't fuck your best mate's wife. Yeah, if you're the coach of a footy club. Yeah. Um, that's <laughs> exactly uh, that's, right. That's where we're, we're yeah. coming at. So, Unless you're bringing five other blokes in there. Yeah. So, really um, start spreading the love. So, uh, I, I, I reckon I got a te- I reckon I got a message. Message, as we were talking from uh, the guys at Powtown, actually. Oh god, they, they had to make their bloody announcement today. No, oh, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no I think uh, they, I think they're staying. They're I think staying. They're good. I think. I think. Well, because that was 
That was the rumor. That, when, when was when did you hear that? Oh, I saw it on social media. Well, well, because 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 this and oh, well, fuck, we are we cannot stay on the road this episode, but <laughs> we but we'll, we'll get back to the, the sound show. system. But it's soon. good. I love an episode like this. You don't know what's going to happen. Well, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, what is, here so, we go. We're not going. Should we make it official? This what, is official. Two days ago, can you read that? No, my I mean are I fucked. can. We're. Where? I'll read no, it. I can't. I'll read it. Um, We're not going. So this is official from the Town Football Netball Club. 2024 incoming. Get around it. We are not going anywhere. The 2024 season for the Town FNC is going ahead in our brand new pavilion. You fucking All little beauty. guns blazing. We just want to say a huge thank you to the suburban footballer for cutting his costs and doing it. Bargain basement prices. No. Still waiting for that no. money to go on the yeah, bank. Yeah, no. It's no secret our numbers have been low, blah, blah, blah. But whatever. They're, I won't read it all. Cause, uh, but the game on for the Powtown Football and Netball Club. So. Well, well, I'll tell you a little, little something and we'll get back oh. to it. Fuck, this is a, anyways, it's a crazy app. I like it's, this oh, app. Fucking, it's good. There's not enough hours in the day to fill. So, so so what's happened? The bloody – um. so I've gone to Powtown. So they're on their last legs. And did I tell yeah, you – Yeah, you said that at the start, I, didn't I, you? But I told – did I say last week that someone contacted me about No, the we didn't say that, yeah, because yeah. I hit you up and said uh, – Oh, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So someone messaged me saying, oh, mate – Listener as well, I think. Listener, yeah. yeah. So, so so thanks very much. I won't name you because fucking hell, they were trying to find out your name at the footy club. I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, um, We've got a mole. So, <laughs> Got a mole. So, uh, so he's contacted me they saying, a few Tom, men up in Tom just so you know, uh, I see you doing Power Town in, a, in, in 10 days' time. Yeah, the joint's I, fucked. I, I've heard the club's about to fold. Maybe contact them, see if the gig's going ahead. And I'm like, oh, God. So I wrote this message to our, uh, Rebecca. Rebecca? Yep, absolute yeah, legend. I've got, I've got an informant. And, uh, I've got an informant. No, and I said, look, I feel a bit awkward about writing this message, but uh, I've, I've, I've Guy I know has messaged me and he said the club might be in a bit of trouble. I really hope this is not the case, but if you do need to pull a pin, yeah. look, no, ca- no cancellation fee. Um, it's all good. I-, I hate to see clubs like this because I'm about the clubs, Evan. You are um, about the clubs. And uh, so, and she said, oh, look, I'll be honest, yeah, things haven't been great, but this is more a community thing to, yep. to get some money to go into this uh, the pavilion, to get some uh, buy shit to get put in the pavilion. Get some cash for a hit, man. To, uh, yeah, get a couple of past coaches get knocked old. off. Yep. And um, so it's going ahead. And so I went to the gig. Great, massive success. But massive. they said yeah, the, the, the RSL did something weird. They cut the ticket link off. Did, do we say? Yeah, that, they no, did. We probably don't have to say that. We don't have to say it because the RSL okay. – well, it was held at the RSL because obviously their pavilion's got, it's got nothing in it. Mm. Um, it's got no seats or – and I said, we've got two options here. We all dig deep, buy auction items, buy raffle tickets, fill the pavilion, uh, get a heap of money and You could do it like um, – it's like story time when you're in prep where everyone sits on the ground with their legs crossed. Yep. That'd be good. Uh, I couldn't it. do that these nah, days. Nah. My knees are fucked. I'd need a bloody – Jaws of life to get me back up. Yeah. Um, oh, I said, that's an option. We all dig deep tonight or we all just get pissed and we fucking basically roll the RSL and take all their tables and chairs and shit. But uh, yeah, that was a bit dated. So we decided to dig deep. So it was a huge night. I reckon we would have, would have raised, but it must have been over 10 grand. It Great. was massive. And then um, Rebecca, Beck, she's the one that booked me, organized Beck's it. Star. And so I went up to her at the end of the night. I, I'll get back to the sound system soon. And I said, uh, look, Thanks for a great night. I really hope, I really hope that uh, it, it all works out. You're a great group of people. I'd met guys that had, I met a guy who played over 600 games. Jesus Clubs Christ. Clubs been over around for 100 years. Oh, it's, it's, like they've, I said. They've folded before. When I, went to, when I went to Moorlbark, uh, yeah, I was a young young pup and this bloke, Larry Peacock, he, he, he said, oh, I played, oh, mate, big cock. I'll tell you. It's tell a peacock. You what. Yeah, but, yeah, what's that? Peacock's a small cock. Oh, but he's got a big one. Okay. Yeah, Larry, be, uh, Larry Peacock. Horse cock. Yeah, it should be, should be. Anyway, he goes, oh, I'm from Powtown. He looked like a fucking Powtown dude. Yeah. yeah. And I go, where the fuck's Powtown? I had no idea where it was when I was a little 17-year-old buck running around the seniors next to Larry Big Cock Peacock. No one knows where the fuck it is. Even the RSL wasn't in Powtown. I've still never been to Powtown. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm walking out and I go, I really hope it all works out for you guys. You've got a great community. And she, you know what she said to me? And we, this is how we talk about you wouldn't get this feeling if you just turned up. Good feeling. And, uh, and, and just took the di- cash and ran. Took the cash and ran. You know what she said to me? She said, uh, what? I think you might have just saved the footy club. Oh! Jesus. She'd had a few wines. Oh, she might have been had, emotional. I she was fucking four bottles but, deep, mate. Yep. And by you, she might have meant the night. But the she, night. 
uh, I quote, I think you, being me. How much money did you put in? Not much. I actually took a bit out. Um, so I don't know if you saved anything. But I held the function. Yeah, I, well, that's I, true. The, the function, I was the function. You were the, the glue. You were I was the glue. the glue that got everyone there. Tom, you saved the footy club. Yeah. Could they put a statue of you and your bald head up there or something? I'd be something? surprised if they, yeah. uh, if they didn't. You know, yeah. like they, um, you know, when they bloody. Jeez, uh, talk about narcissist. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit narcissistic today. Yeah. Uh, you know, when Melbourne ran out and they all tapped the bloody. The flag or the. No, no, the helmet. Bloody. Um, oh, Brayshaw's, Brayshaw's helmet. Brayshaw's helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Was he in it? He goes, I've got another concussion, yeah. boys. Yeah, no. Stop hitting me so hard. Yeah, guys, please. Enough. <laughs> Jesus, um, didn't you see me press conference? I can't uh, string two words the together. Shop. You're so, belting me fucking helmet again. Maybe they put my suburban footballer. Um, That'd be good. Helmet. Power Town for the next hundred years, they'll run out and tap it. And they say, you know what? We wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for Tommy Seager, a.k.a. the suburban footballer. Yeah, he's still trying to get a kick down at Caulfield. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm building Power Town up there. Back. Great to have you back. Good on you. That's great. But 80 people, no more, no less, jammed into this perfect little comedy room at the RSL, watched me carry fucking sound equipment on a 32 degree day and mm. I couldn't it was all sort of I had to park in the car park it was about a 50 meter walk I had to fucking carry all this shit around I'm sweating bullets sorry mate can I get through this yep sorry because it was jammed in this did anyone uh, do you want a hand mate no nah, no, no one that's, okay. a, that's a fine oh. it was sort of an older crowd so, well, yeah, so I said do that back and I say no anyway I say no nah, oh, I've, I've got a well. I've got a system um, yeah, um, so uh, anyway so I set it all up probably took 45 minutes and I said to, I said Guys, I reckon we uh, I reckon we're good to start now. And he goes, "Oh, mate, great! The MC, great, great guy, Dazza, Daz, um, uh, Chompers, Ed. Chompers, yeah, the uh, the, the, the veneers. It's a fuck. They look ridiculous. Of, don't always they? a bit of fun when you see someone with the veneers. Can you shave? They got to shave them down a bit. They get a bit big, the old veneers. They're fucking. Go, go, some people go a couple of shades of white too bright. Oh, I saw I some rippers at a fundraiser on. Uh, but she was a woman, yeah. so I'm not going to. No, that. no, no. It's funny when it's a bloke. Oh yeah. Don't mention it when it's a woman. But uh, uh, anyway, so old bloody Chompers Daz, he's going. Oh great! All right, I'll let everyone know. Pulls a fucking cordless. Mike out of his, of his back pocket and makes an announcement. All right, guys, we're going to kick off in 10 minutes. Get to the bar, go to the toilet. Don't forget to check out the silent auction items and we'll see you soon. Puts it back and he goes, mate, looking forward to this. And I said, chompers, the last 45 minutes when I've been carrying all this fucking sound system and shit in, did you not think to maybe mention the fucking perfectly functioning microphone in your back pocket that would have saved me 45 minutes. And now I've got to pack the fucking thing up at the end of the night. He just gives you a fucking shit eating grim yeah. with his fucking big white You don't know what his, you know what his emotion is because he's fucking always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, but he was a fantastic guy. But guys, and maybe, maybe I should have asked, but actually I did ask at the start of the night. I said, so you want me to set up my sound? And she goes, yeah, I know. I think it's best. So, mm. so I just thought, fuck it. I'll pack it up now so yeah. I'm not fucking down the dumps about this all night. So I packed it up and so I didn't have to do it at the end of the show. And So people, 80 people, just basically watched me carry shit in, set up sound equipment. Did you use your sound? Pack shit up. No. No? <laughs> no, because I thought, well, I'm going to have to, rather than pack it up at the end of the night, I'll just do it now. Well, sometimes it's good just, because you know how sometimes where people go, where is that sound coming from? Sometimes it's good to just see speakers. Oh. So they're putting it together. It's not that go, good that you no, it's not would great. still spend 45 minutes at the start and 45 minutes at the end packing it up. Ah, oh, it's fucked. So people just saw me pack it up, go and talk to someone. So I set it up, go talk, talk to someone, someone, and then come pack up. They go, hey, gee, this this club is in trouble. They can't even afford to pay the fucking comedian. He's yeah. he's gone. He's gone. So, uh, but that's just a small thing. Just uh, a small Power thing. Town, congratulations. Well, well done. done. I'm proud of you. Yeah, so am I. So am I. So Good luck uh, for the 2024 season. Yeah. Uh, look, all you got to do is get through this if you're down on numbers and then you, you build from there. But yeah. you're alive. There's a pulse. That's oh, yeah, I can feel it. Oh, it. there's a pulse. Oh, no, that was great. I don't wonder where I go from here. I've sort of got some stuff, but I'm like, that was a really good vibe. And well, I've got something that would involve both of us, if you okay. want to. Well, maybe I'll just talk about, well, I went back to the Braybrook Buffet. Oh, did, did you? It? Yeah, fucking hell. What that. episode was that? That would have been. Oh, that was a while ago. And actually, because uh, me, the twins, and Bev Killick, we, and uh, Joey Roberts, we did a gig at the, you're doing the Braybrook Hotel in two months. Am I setting up sound? 
I reckon you could be. Yeah, I might ask it first if they've got a, some sort of some sort of built-in sound. Yeah, system. not in this room. It was uh, it was a great room. You've it was said all, that, it was you've all said that before. You said that before. <laughs> yeah, they had a stage. They definitely had a stage. And and the smart people. I'm looking around the room and uh, I go, are there any fucking um, powerpoints? That's the first point of call. Where you go, where's the gig going to be? Then you go, where's the powerpoints? Yep. And uh, the smart, the fucking brain surgeons in Braybrook. They uh, they set a fucking you know a big day out fucking stage. Right over where the bloody uh, PowerPoint was, so I had to fucking you know yep. get get a forklift and quite a, a crane to fucking pull the stage out from the wall, set it all up. But uh, great fun, and we did get a feed at the Braybrook Hotel. Like, when we uh, bought our house, uh, in, in our in our bathroom, there was no PowerPoint. Yeah, yeah that's and, weird. And, and, and no PowerPoint. So no PowerPoint. Where do you charge your vibrator? Your vibrator, that like my hair dryer, which yeah. I don't. Is that much anymore? You know, your shaver. Your shaver, yeah. And I was like, where do I this put fucking, my where do I put my is, cone? This is insane. And um, so I contacted the builder and said, mate, there's no fucking punch a hole in the wall. There's no PowerPoint in the bathroom. And he goes, yeah, there is, mate. It's um, it's and he looked at his bloody diagram and all shit. He goes, mate, it's it should be thirty centimeters above the uh, desk, uh, uh, above the um sink. sink. And it, and he go uh, and I went and I said, mate, there's a fucking mirror there, and the fuck we just put a. A mirror over the fucking oh, PowerPoint. What a fuck. How does that work? Wouldn't the mirror just be on an angle? I don't know. Because the PowerPoint sticks out I don't a bit. know, but, but you, you couldn't really tell. I don't know. But um, so yeah, so I had to get him out there. Not a, That's a fucking big mirror. You got a, that's a, that was a whole wall. So oh, you had to remove that whole mirror. But, yeah. So there are some fucking idiots. Oh, there. there's some fuckwits. Don't worry about that. Anyway, so Braybrook was going off and uh, they actually, I think, because I put a clip up about the Braybrook buffet. Yeah. I think that might have gone a bit viral. And my word might have got back to the – because um, one of the assistant managers, he goes, oh, you're coming back to the buffet, are you, Evo? Yeah, and looking I, back, we did go pretty hard on the we fucking went plebs that were basically saying they were the lowest form of person. Yeah, well, it hasn't sort of stepped up too much. There uh, there were some no. people who – although the fucking food is good, but I'm just at a point where I just can't eat that much, mm. especially not before a gig. No. You're not having three plates of food at the oh. Braybrook Buffet. You don't want to shit yourself I on am. stage. I'm past those you days. Get into yeah, it. I can eat. I can eat. Yeah, I, I can eat. I get a bit worried. I had the sticky date, though. That was nice. Oh, I love, um, that's the best dessert. Jeez, it was good. They had that at Power Town. Best yeah. dessert. Does it have dates in it? Because I think that's why it always scared me off. I go, I fucking don't want to eat a date. Well, I think this is the thing. You, you go to a real fancy, somewhere fancy, and you order the bloody the sticky date, and you can actually see the big chunks of date. Dates. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going back to fucking Hungry Jacks and getting there. I don't like the sticky date to have any fucking date. I don't like it to be sticky. No. No. (laughs) Even the pudding bit's questionable. uh, But uh, no dates. Please no stickiness. That's rank. And... Yeah, they just don't sound great dates, but they actually taste all right. Oh, dates are beautiful. Oh, I love a date. Yeah. Second Mm. dates are good. Um, Second dates are good. um, Oh, they're great. A dirty date. A sweaty date. Oh, yeah. Root on a first date. Mm-hmm. It's okay. That's okay. That's good. Anyway, anyway so uh, yeah, so uh, Braybrook was going off. Was there anything else I had to say? So thanks to the Braybrook Hotel, had a ripper at Braybrook. Uh, we did the, and you're doing the Olympic Hotel in Preston as well. Oh, serious? Yeah, I just have you got that in the diary? Yeah, we're well, no doubt it's in there. Yeah, um, so that's in, in a an Olympic of... year too. Oh yeah. When's the Olympics? Uh, geez, I, you don't hear much about it. Nah, I really struggle with the Olympics now. Like I do like the Olympics. I mean, the Commonwealth Games, that's yeah, just a fun. Wow, well, you could go down to you know, a local athletics carnival and see better athletes. Yeah, it's a bloody joke. Yeah, um, I've, I've been in the aquatics and I've seen a bloke shit in the pool and going, you could win the 200 metres, champ, at yeah, the Commonwealth um, Games. It's. Uh, well, I don't think, even think they're holding it anymore, are they? Everyone keeps the, dropping out. No one wants it. Did we cancel the Commonwealth Games or the Olympics? I think Mel- no, Melbourne. No, did Melbourne. We cancel. No, Melbourne took on the Olympic, the uh, Commonwealth Games, and then just quit and well, it cost them like a, they're like fucking half a billion dollars down or something. Yeah, that's why beer prices are going up and bloody taxes are through the roof, interest rates. Is, Is that why? I don't think so. Anyway, yeah, he, he sort of fucked everything up and then just just walked out of there. Fucked off. It's a bit like what was his name? Jugger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm mucking around, Jack. He wouldn't joke, listen to this no. shit. He wouldn't listen I'm to this sure shit. I'm sure a mate will blame Dan him. Andrews. Dan Andrews, the uh, the jugger let's of the political not get, world. Let's not get political. This is the worst thing we could do. No. 
We've got People no do idea. not listen to this for us to get political. No, that's right. We've got nothing going on. So anyway, so uh, Braybrook Hotel went off. I uh, actually ripped shit on the Braybrook Hotel buffet. I might, might be able to get a clip out of it, see what happens. Mm-hmm. Basically just uh, repeated what we said on the podcast about it, which yep. uh, got some good laughs. Um, went to the Olympic Hotel in Preston uh, the following night. That was a Thursday. Another great gig. Different Preston. St- to Preston. Depressing. Um, no, no, no. It's, it's good out there. Fucking hell. It's a, I sort of forget. Coming from Mornington. Oh, jeez. That's a hike. It is a hike. and It's, it's just fucking concrete out there. Uh, yeah, Preston. Too much concrete. Oh, God. It's, Someone uh, put in a fucking medium strip or something. I had to go pick Bev up as well. Had to, she doesn't have a car. Didn't she get an Uber? Ah, oh, fuck. She probably could. I should have told the boys. Oh, and thank I love Bev. I love yeah, Bev. Yeah, legend. Yeah, it sort of, it does, you know, in peak hour, it can throw a fucking spanner right in the fucking gear. So Ooh, I'll give you the tip. Yeah. yeah, you're looking at maybe an uh, hour, hour, a bit over an hour, and then you oh, I've got to swing by St Kilda and grab uh, the great Bev. Oh, yeah, and, it's a little uh, out of the way. Yeah, she adds a bit to the trip. And uh, yep. when you've got to set up sound gear and then pack down. Well, oh, I think you're well within your right to. I've given Bev a couple of lifts and she's always um, caught a train. So she's right on. Oh, my, I got her to yeah. go to Glen Iris Station yeah, okay, on, yeah, on the second day. Good, yeah. I thought, yeah, let's do that, which I think it just made things harder yep. for me. I don't know. But you try and look where. Uh, yeah, it's hard. I don't know. It's tough. It's hard. It's tough. She's tough. Anyway, so two great gigs. So uh, they're, they're fantastic. And um, it was my birthday Friday. Thanks to everyone who, who touched base. And, you know, I spoke to you four times on the Friday. You didn't mention it once. Well, it wasn't until so, I was at yeah. Powtown and someone said, oh, we lived with Evan up at uh, bloody mm. Port Douglas. It's his birthday today. And I said, no, it wouldn't be. I'd, I'd know that. I've spoke to him four times already today. And yeah, I'm, well, I'm not a narcissist. And I'm I looked going. it up and, yeah. Yep, yeah, sure yeah, was. There it was. So yeah. Seeing a little... Uh, Photo of bloody carrot top. Got a few laughs there. That was good. I think it looked a bit like you, actually. Well, it was wearing a similar shirt. He was. Uh, a bit puffier in the face, old carrot ah. top. And not as curly. Oh, I'm not as curly. Mm. I never had the curly hair like that. Um, yeah. Yeah, so. And then I replied with a fucking jacked photo of mm. carrot top saying I've been hitting the gym. Yeah. So, yeah, follow my Facebook for more outrageous stuff like that. Oh, yeah. It's oh, good yeah, banter. good stuff. Anyway, so, but it's working out well because I've got a day gig on Friday for my birthday. I thought this would be oh, fantastic. So, uh, it's a fundraiser. I won't say who it's for, but I'm out at a golf club. They're playing golf beforehand. Um, good at, place for it then. Yeah, great. It's, it's fantastic. They're, um, yeah, and I sort of I spoke to someone before, and he said, oh, are there any limitations on what I can say, what I can do? They said, no, no, go for it. Fucking go for it, Evo. Just yeah. do it. And I'm not an edgy comic. I'm not that edgy. Well, some of my stuff's getting a little bit, not edgy, but pushing a few bound. Uh, mm. Not really pushing boundaries. Just my thoughts. It's yeah. a lot about wanking. If they weren't into wanking, they'd struggle. Yeah, there's only a chunk, IVF chunk, that's yeah. sort of the wanking. Very I mean, it's, it's, it's not, um, you know, it's not the... It's not like uh, the main ingredient no. of the dish. Got to talk about what you love. That's right. Talk about what you know. But uh, anyway, so uh, rock up there, and I've never had a. I've done a few golf days, and I've sort of. I've never had a, a electric sort of. No, after a golf day, they're tough. The guys are tired. They're drained. They've they, been out in the sun. They potentially haven't played well. They it's, fucking uh, hate golf. They're hungry. It's um. They're, they're, uh, g- Golf day can really suck the life out of people. And then you've got to get out there and you're telling jokes. The rooms aren't great. And a lot of it is, um, you know, it's different if you're all mates, but there's a lot of different companies. They were sponsors of the foundation or whatever. Yep. So they're sort of like, oh, you know, they're there with the boss and the boss is a bit of a flog yep. and whatever. So they're big round tables. What do you think about this? I don't know. I turn up at the golf club. I won't name them. Well, maybe I should name and shame, but uh, I turn up. And, you know, I don't drink for a gig. I, you know, I don't really have too much sugar. I so, said, oh, can I get a, can I get a soda water? And uh, how much you reckon, you reckon they go, oh, here you go, mate. Do uh, they know you were the comedian? No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. But we, I don't know, charge them for soda water. Four bucks for a soda water? Is that a fucking rort? Seems a bit exy, but uh, yeah, I don't I mean, I they've got to make what... money. You got to make money, and they. I mean, they got fifty poker machines in the joint. Surely you can throw out a few free soda waters. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a bay, um Especially uh, when I'm the entertainment. Maybe I should have got a bit narcissistic and go, have you seen me on do you know who Underbelly? I mm. and yeah, that footy club's never... It's pretty rare a footy club will make me pay for... Uh, drinks. For drinks. Probably no. Probably the 17th, 18th, they start thinking, you know what? I might... Oh, I he's um, taking the piss here. better start charging this guy. I think he's um he's, he's, he's on a mission. He's on but, a mission. Uh, but if the, if the function doesn't know you and you're... To, to them, yeah. you're just another bloody guy playing golf. So I reckon you should bloody... They didn't know it was your fucking birthday. I can bloody pull your dick out of your ass. And, yeah, man, um, I should have shown them my ID. It's my birthday. Don't charge me for soda water. Yeah, good point. Anyway, well, big, so, it's, uh, it's my birthday badge. Yeah, yeah, I had, the, I had the bloody 42 bloody badge. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, but I think it's, it's not a bad vibe. I think, you know, I've only got to do about 25 or something like that. I think, I think we're going okay. There's a few. But I first, I sat at a table. And I was chatting to this bloke. I said, "Get!" Up. He was a bit older. He was a bit older. He was on the the main people's table. Yeah. I said, "Get on, mate. How are you, Evo?" And he goes, "I don't know. I don't know what his name was." I said, "Oh, mate, did you play golf?" He said, "No, nah, no, nah, I can't. I can't play golf, mate. I've, uh, you know, I've got dramas with my kidneys. My kidneys are only function at thirty percent." I said, okay. "Oh, well, thanks for bringing the mood up, mate. Yep. That's um, fantastic. You couldn't have maybe just maybe just say I don't like golf. Yeah, not a golfer. Of running through your bloody." Health issues. I um, didn't really, you know, get me pumped up for the gig. Uh, so I sort of slowly worked my way away from him. And uh, the lady who was running it, she gave me the little, have you seen the rundown sheet? And then quickly, there were four things I couldn't mention. And uh, I mean, there was racism. I said, well, I'm going to have to get rid of all me. Yeah. No, nah, I don't have any racist yeah, jokes. Nazi stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, suicide. No, nah, no, nah, I don't have any of that. There were a few other things I couldn't mention, but uh, I think we're going to be all right here. So, so they actually gave you a list. Well, yeah, I never saw that because I spoke to another girl during the week and said, oh, I just go for it. I don't think I've ever been given a list. No. Nah. I mean, a lot of that stuff's common sense. Yeah, well, a lot of that stuff was. like, And a lot of my stuff, I go, well, no, nah, that doesn't involve me. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, redhead jokes. Oh, fuck. I've got well, I guess eat. if there was something like, for example, if the charity was about... A Burns victim or something. Yes. It'd, it'd be, maybe don't mention if you've got any yeah. jokes about Burns victims. Mm. So just, yeah, so maybe, yeah. But, but things like racism. But, yeah, it was, all, bloody, it was all pretty stock pretty straightforward. stuff. Where I go, no, there's none of that. There's none of that. And uh, I think this, this is going to be okay. It's all good. The, the lady, she's all pumped up and uh, she goes, all right, she goes, you're welcome. Um, yeah, you know, it's great. Thanks for everyone for coming out. I hope you enjoyed the go. There's people running in late. They're, they're clearly, they're fucked. They're um they're sick of it. They're sick of the golf, and uh, I find as well what doesn't work great at a gig is a big. There was a banner up behind me. There was some trophies, but also a glass. It was a glass like it was just looking out to the golf course. Yeah, and I think when there's a lot of sun, you you're just not illuminated that yeah, well. Yeah. It's sort of you're just there and uh, you're uh, you're making a lot of excuses, mate. I think I think I know where we're going with this one. Well, it yeah. started all right. Yeah, it started all right. Uh, things no, it's went not well. Where you start, mate. It's where you finish. Well, that's right. It uh, started all right. There are a few ups and downs, but there's a few oldies up the front and. Uh, yeah, I think when you can see the crowd, you can really gauge people's people's um, views on your jokes. And uh, yeah. a few of these older ladies, they were sort of, you know, gripping their Zimmer frames, going, oh, Jesus Christ. And uh, and then I even was going to pull back on a joke. I said, oh, no, I won't tell this joke. And one of the boys goes, back yourself in. I'm like, All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I told it and fucking bought the house down. Ah. So pick it. they're picking and choosing the jokes. And, uh, yeah, there's some stuff that was going all right. But we sort of just, you know, bit of crowd work, bit yep. of this, bit of that. And I sort of bought it home. And, uh, like I said, it went all right. But, oh, well, the first thing, when she brought me up, she goes, oh, please welcome to the stage, Adam. And I'm okay. like, no, well, Evan would be nice. That's that's my name. So uh, she, And then I sort of got up. I said, oh, very good. Give it up for Margaret. And that wasn't her name. And uh, no one sort of realised that I was taking the piss there. No, they probably didn't know your name and didn't know her name. So it was just a weird thing It was to say. weird. What's yeah. going on here? But uh, anyway, it was just, it was just it, after coming off two great gigs, it's just, it's good to have, a, and like I said, I'm, it probably wasn't that bad, but just when you've come off absolute corkers, a day gig where people are just a bit flat, a bit tired, mm. 
Um, no, I've spoke I to a few ta- people that were there, mate, and it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Um, well, you know, spoke your, to, your, vibe, your feeling was correct. Yeah, yeah I spoke to um, yeah, the bloke who, who, I won't mention his name, who booked me for it. He goes, ah, yeah, because um, Comedian did it last year. He said, yeah, they sort of wore out pretty quick. I think just after golf, it's just yeah, a it's tough a shit sport tough and shit to, uh, shit to do comedy after. But I'm, look, uh, it's the roller coaster, and you you take the good with the bad. And if it's pain, you got to do the gigs. It's going to be a roller coaster this weekend. Listen to these gigs I got Friday, Saturday. So Friday, Warnable Greyhound Club, classic. Probably the I've done the Shepparton one, which that went well. Yeah, not they're the fucking a bit scummy. Not exactly high Warnable. society. Uh, the old the old Greyhound Association. All but right. look, you might you might get lucky, and I might get a story out of this one because uh, our mate Delicate Des rang a while ago. Oh, Desiree, I said, what are you doing? Yes, what are you doing on Saturday, the twenty third of March? I said, oh, I'm actually it's meant to be taking the nieces and nephews to some some uh, wildlife experience, and uh, Desi said, oh, well, mate, do you want to do the Strath Merton fishing competition? Oh, that's huge. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And it's set up in a marquee, and you do it off the back of a fucking Yeah, youth. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. I did that. I did that. Was it good? Fucking 12, 13 years ago. It was good? Yeah, it was great. Oh, great. All right. Because yeah. he said, mate, you take it all, because I, I doubt you're going to come back. And I've spoken to the bloke. Oh, it's a shit show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've spoken to the bloke. I said, oh, how much do you want me to do? Because yeah, the last thing you want is, oh, mate, can you do 45? He goes, oh, mate. I said, oh, do you want me to do 30? He goes, mate, if you get to 30, you'll be doing all right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah how long did you do? Oh, mate, I can't remember. It was a long time ago. But I remember it being all right. I remember yeah. a few people saying how bad it was. And I remember thinking it was all right. Well, I, I reckon it'll be all right because I don't have to censor myself. It was like this golf day. I started sort of censoring. Oh, you don't I have go, to censor yourself. No, Just no. start dropping C-bombs and – Fantastic. But he – have a wank on stage and people right. will be going, ramp it up. Oh, well, that'll, yeah. that'll take a minute and a half. So, um, yeah, so. no, there, no. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I might get a cool story out of it. So, I've got a bit of travel. Yeah, a bit of fish. Bit of boys away fishing. So, um, yeah, but it's yeah. good though, because, yeah, like I said, once you start censoring yourself during a, a fundraiser gig or you, you, you're screwed. Yeah, it's not you. you. Yeah. <clears throat> you're getting your own head, but, uh, yeah. So, I reckon we're all right. We're, we're cooking. Where are we at? Yep. I'll, uh, oh, yeah, that's an hour. That's an hour. I was going to say, we'll, we'll save it for next week. Save it for um, next week. Yep, plenty to talk about next week. Fuck, it's all happening. Life's going bloody. Jump on the Patreon because we're, we're, he- we're heading, you'll probably be listening to this, we're going to head up to Tallarook. Something's crook. We're doing a trial show for the festival. So jump on, get your tickets as well for the for the comedy festival. There's still some tickets left for the live pod. And uh, the other nights, so but don't don't bloody hesitate. No, get in there. Oh, um, shit, yeah. So uh, we're going to do some Patreon. Yeah, we'll do a quick one on yeah. the on the wave. Oh yeah, oh, yeah for sure. Tallarook just Tallarook. won the uh, the A grade cricket final Ooh. weekend. That's another bloody tick for TC. Right, saved another, saved another club. Don't know if I saved them, but so they're, they're putting on a pasta night when we're there. So we'll oh, get great. there and have some pasta and fantastic carb loading. For yeah, yeah, drive for, the for the weekend. So it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right, let's fucking yeah. let's jump on the Instagram. Give us a rating. Give us a review. Tell your mates about it. That's important. Share it round. Share around those little clips I put up, the little Instagram reels. They, they, that's what we need. We need more people jumping on those. Get on the Patreon for God's sake. Go support and follow Shawnee Bell's journeys. He yep. runs around Australia. Run, Shawnee, run. And but you know, support us as well. So Patreon. Yeah. yeah. All Never right. Say it all. Good banter. Oh, good banter. That's a good one.